One of the things I want to make clear from the outset is that this does not lower anybody's wages. This does not uh, uh, do anything like that. Um, essentially, in, in the state right now, there are two kinds of people. There are people who have lost their jobs, and there are those who are afraid they will lose their jobs. Um, by putting uh, more pressure on, uh, on people who are doing the hiring, my concern is that we will continue to uh, work our way into a jobless recovery and lose more jobs. And what's going to happen as a result is the people who are still having jobs are going to be asked, uh, a workforce of, of 10 is going to be asked to do the, the, the work of 15. And it's, it's going to uh, create more stress and more pressure. And it's not going to really do as much uh, good as we could do as far as uh, economic development and, and expansion. The, uh, the legislation that we are trying to alter with this bill uh, has an automatic uh, accelerator in it. Uh, what that means is that there are essentially two accelerators in play right now. And uh, in 2009, both those accelerators took place. Um, minimum wage went up in uh, January of that year, and then in July it went up once again uh, under, the federal, uh, under the federal increase. It makes it very difficult for small businesses to keep pace when you've got two accelerator mechanisms that are kind of compounding those increases. Uh, one of the things that is also in there, which uh, which we would be uh, removing, uh, would be the decreasing mechanism. And in fact, a minimum wage has gone down in 2010. It actually did decrease. So it's, it really makes it a lot more of a, of a moving target. Um, when this was uh, passed into law in 2006, we had a lot different economy that we were looking at. Uh, it was relatively healthy. Unemployment was at 4.5%. Today, it is at 10%. At the time that this, uh, this was put into place, uh, as I'd said, the, the minimum wage was $5.15. And it hadn't had a, a, an increase in something like 10 years. Um, there was, I think, a, a legitimate pent-up demand that, uh, that minimum wage uh, should be increased. I think that 41% uh, over those uh, few short years is, is pretty substantial, and I think the uh, increases beyond that uh, could actually be detrimental. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, Richard Moore on behalf of the Missouri Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, I spoke to you whenever Senator Crowell's bill was up in, in more detail, but if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, we just go on record and support 